After you calculated your stairs and you plugged it into your module of floor plan, you may find out that your nice clean module of four feet doesn't quite work and the stairs lengthen themselves 17 feet plus. And if you actually plugged in the actual stairs inside of your structure, you can get away with 17 from edge to edge and then that gives you uh, a little bit more. If you need to give yourself extra, you can move actually all of that all of that one more foot uh, back so then you're uh, not worried about your modulation of um, um, 17 feet not working so now 18 feet in between gives you plenty of room to put a load bearing wall and you should be actually okay so if you place a column right over there uh, it would work so I'm just going to move my column from that junction to here so then my uh, configuration works a little bit better I'm going to move this column also from here to there now I created a cross section right over here uh, that only goes one bay further so let's take a look at that cross section B and it's right here so now I have my columns and I know the distance from here now I would like to actually compose a cross section that crosses over here before I do that I want to go to level one and I want to look at what I would like to do with this I would like to create a second floor level two right now so I'm just going to create a level two go to level two um, and I have my level one as my underlay so my underlay is level one that's why I can actually see and it shows right over here that's why I can actually see that lower level all right if not you have to go over here um, to properties and change the uh, underlay all right so now I'm just going to quickly create that architecture floor line just very quick simple floor rectangle would be just fine and I just want to go from the inside here later on I add a lot more uh, to uh, this point right here all right so that's my floor at the second floor and I would like to quickly study it in my section it's right here so I would like all of these columns all of these columns to actually go to the bottom over here so right now all of those columns are just going to here so I want them to go to that point all right so um, but I'm not going to fuss about it terribly because this one actually I would like it to go way up and this one I may utilize this one in a different way so would so I would this one as well all right so my first floor is 12 feet what I like to do is establish an eight foot uh, standard two so I just want to come back here and just go architecture establish a layer at eight feet and I'm just going to come back here uh, and that gives me the top of my door and I just want to make sure that I have that actually set and I'm just going to call that top of door or door head height not top of the door uh, door uh, and I'm just going to put edge edge so I remember that it's my door head height would you like to rename now really it's just in individually and I don't want to fuss about it so it's essentially giving me a door height of eight foot here it is and that's where I would like to remember what I'm actually doing so I've got eight and twelve now I would like to sketch um, the composition of small versus large and I would like to use curves so go to um, annotate sketch okay so I'm going to annotate uh, all right uh, and you would like to draw detail line okay so uh, let me just backtrack I'm in section this just making sure so I'm going to basically create a volume over here that crosses over the entrance versus the smaller module go back to section uh, five and I'm going to put a detail line and in that detail line I'm going to curve from here somewhere and I'm not quite sure exactly how I'm going to do it cross over here and I want it to be a gentle curve okay so now I'm going to do an offset of 16 inches uh, 
uh, let's say, uh, 1 foot 8 inches, 20 inches, okay? So if I went this way, it looks like this, all right? Now I would like that bottom to hit it over there. So I'm going to just take both of them, move them from this junction to there. Now it allows me to structurally be sound, okay? So now I'm going to take this guy and just move it until it hits somewhere near there. Uh, so I have a sense of where my uh, higher upper structure is. Now I'm going to do the lower structure, and I'm going to do a similar curve. I can uh, do it this way, take the same thing, and make it symmetrical from anywhere. It doesn't matter as long as it's a straight line. Now I have same curve happening over here. I may want to go smaller uh, structure, but right now I'm just going to move it from somewhere here to here. All right. So you can actually see my smaller su structure composition. Then I said, no, I really would like to go to this to this level. So I, I just simply move it from here to there. Now that looks really nice because I've got this composition taken care of and I've got a very nice uh, clear story windows and I also have the head clearance so if a person is standing over here I can actually see where they're looking. Let's go to level two and let's um, uh, put uh, some people. So go to compo component, place a component and you would like to actually place a component. Uh, you would like to uh, place a person, okay? So none of these things that actually are here. So uh, what you like to do is go to component, place a component over in the center, over in the center, click load a family, uh, choose entourage, okay? So family name is called entourage, entourage. And as soon as you put ENT, uh, it pops right up. So you want to find Entourage, which is this one. And then it will tell you, uh, peop uh, give you people. You can actually uh, insert more. I'm just going to put place a male person uh, over here. You can put in female. It's perfectly okay. And I'm just going to place him right over here. So it's within my cone of vision or within my vision right against here. I can move him a little bit closer to here, but I can see that his visual, uh, I'm going to just draw a line if I can, DL, detail line. So I'm just going to, oops, I need to get out of here. I need to see that he's going to be able to see from there down here. So, uh, and, and then uh, I need to make sure that he can actually uh, see the light and he can. So this looks pretty decent to me. So now I would like to turn this into an actual um, skin and structure. Um, so I may decide instead of doing one foot uh, eight inches, I'm just going to uh, do this one, one foot uh, offset, one foot uh, two instead. So there is a distinction of scale between the upper one and the lower configuration or I may decide no I like to keep it the same size uh, for detailing sake. Alright so now I'm going to offset uh, for uh, thickness of the roof uh, and the fascia I'm just going to offset four inches here and I'm going to offset four inches and I'm going to actually turn that into a roof layer uh, if you may uh, and, and begin to actually compose my roof configuration. And, and I may decide to detail it later on in terms of how I would like to do the overhang. All right, so let's get started. Architecture, component, model in place. I would like to create a roof. This is extremely critical. You call it roof. So R, uh, A, B, C, D, alphabetically ordered. So Nazi, get your act together. Roofs are here. Say OK. Now you can just uh, pick up Oh, no, I, I'm sorry, we can't do this because we didn't create a reference plane. Um, let's go back to level one, make sure that in fact we have a reference plane. You, in this case, we do. If you don't, make sure you have a reference plane. It's north south. I'm going to get back to my section E, and I'm going to uh, continue with the process. Go architecture, component, model in place, and I'm going to choose roof. Uh, there we go. It's going to give me a name. 
I'm okay with it. And then I'm going to choose extrusion. It's going to ask me from where? North, south. Uh, we're good. Um, north, south, not the stairs, just a regular north, south. We're good to go. And I would like to choose this plane and that plane. And I like to finish it up. Uh, now, as you get your act together. For some reason, it's not uh, picking it up. Okay, there we go. There. And it's acting funny. All right. Now, as you get your act together. There. There. It's now finishing. Now, I get to the other end. And I'm just going to go 90 degrees this way. That's how I like to finish it. Uh, and I'm going to finish this one, and I like I like it to start from zero, uh, from zero, and I like it to go four feet is fine for now. Say okay, and check. Now, do the other roof separate, otherwise you may get into trouble. So now I'm going to do the other roof, and I'm just going to actually stop it uh, here. Um, there it goes, right there. Okay, so now as you get your act together, so I'm going to go architecture, component, modeling, place. I'm going to choose roof again, alphabetically ordered, roof, say OK. I'm going to say two, and I'm going to do a simple extrusion, and I'm just going to do it from north south, not the stairs one, and I say OK. I'm going to pick this line, I'm going to choose this line. And I'm going to choose this line. I'm going to go right here. Later on, I'm going to actually separate it a little bit more. Right now, I'm going to go there from here, 90 degrees to here. Clean it up. There it is. And clean up on the other end. There it is. And I like it to go from 0 to 4. And we're here we are. We go to uh, Site. And it's just this far. I'm just going to go a little bit further. Then I'm just going to check it. This is my other roof. I would like to let it go further. And I'm going to check it. And I'm just going to look at this in 3D. And here it is. In 3D, you can actually see your roof. And rotating it, it gives you this kind of an effect. For now, you could just take your columns and just extend it. If you made them as a wall, it will extend to that roof. Right now, we don't want to go any farther. This simply gives me my section, my section configuration, and my overall design. Remember that you sketched it.